Yesterday, we started a conversation on if money should be a barrier to keeping friendships and relationships. So today, we're looking into uh, another angle. Should we sustain this very VIP um, culture, you know, where certain people are the preferred, you know, either in a religious setting or in public gatherings, which has created quite a lot of discrimination and hatred as, as a lot of people feel they are being treated unfairly in society. And this, as I said, it's become cultural, you know. Cert you, can, you can't expect to go to a certain place and you sit at the place where the heavyweights VIPs. are sitting. You know, you have an event and there's the VIP section. It's, it's I mean, so when, when the producers were talking about this, they said, it's almost normal in our own society where you go somewhere, you find your level. Every society. They, every society, you find your level. Uh, mm. You can't go to see the Queen of England and think you can sit down with uh, mm -mm. certain people <laughs> in the front row. So, what? so the, the truth is that why do people then have this um, self, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Self-doubt. Um, Self-doubt in okay. who they are just because they're not being allowed to sit in certain places or they don't see you in certain circles. So you feel like, oh, maybe I'm not good enough. Why do we have that mentality? Is the problem us or them? Mm, That's like the them. question. I yeah. like the question. So um, for me, I've come to realize that we will always have VIPs, very important personalities. You cannot do away with it because we are not all evolving and developing at the same level. But my problem is the manner in which you now elevate the VIPs and treat the other ones as less. Let me give you a quick example. So a friend of mine did a party recently and I handled the catering. So I organized food for everyone in that establishment from the security to the cleaner to the managing directors and all of them had a variety. So they were given options to choose a variety. So to the cleaner, do you want Ofada or do you want this or do you want that? It was the first time they had that, had somebody pay attention to them to ask them, do you want this? And they saw that everything was equal. But what I did was the, for the managing directors, I had to include an additional, maybe like a bottle of wine to show that you are different, you know, but every other person was well taken care of and they were grateful. But what we see here is we put the VIPs on a pedestal and we ignore the other people we feel are less and that's where the beefing comes in. The conversation really says, is it us or them? Mm. So probably it could be us. Mm. If someone feels that she's gone out of her way to make sure you feel included, yeah. but because she did not add the wine, one more bottle of wine to yours, mm. all of a sudden you're feeling, oh, yeah. so you don't think I'm good enough. That's why I did not get the wine. Mm. So it could be us. From cleaner you know, to manager. For me, I even wonder you when you go to events, like, I don't even want to be VIP. If you're VIP, you have to sit down there, oh. I'm like, I what? Oh, yeah. I want to be at the back so I can sneak out yes. quickly. <laughs> and I don't ever go to an event feeling less than because someone has been ushered in. Mm. Sometimes you go to an event, the president comes in. Really? Am I going to be feeling less than because Why? they ushered the president in front of me or the mm. governor? Do you understand? It doesn't, for me personally, I don't see it as a problem. But, the, but, but yeah. like places like church. Yes, I was going to go there. So now church has to be careful because you're the ones that are the voice for being equal, being fair, you know, treating everybody the same. And then people see, especially uh, people who seem to have a lot of money. In church, people expect that you should be judged by your character more than what you can physically bring to the table. So I guess for different places, some things have to be looked at differently. But I feel that your status can bring you before kings. Yes. Your, see status, you see beauty, <coughs> you see money. You know, there's some things that they're just, it's like luck that has been bestowed on you by um, nature or whatever, and then it happens, it gives you a leg in. But it takes, you know, character and other things to push you even forward. But I don't think you so, should be bothered about someone. So we shouldn't doing. expunge the culture of VIPs. We can't. <laughs> even if we want to, it's not possible People to expunge People need to be it. given the respect for the achievements. Yeah, yes. for the achievements, yes. for what they've done, for, for contributions that they have made. Yeah. It's just a way of respecting and appreciating the but value that they by bring. the person being respected is not worthy of that respect, now, but is it a purchased yes. respect. Now, that's that's so a hush papé, you know, walks <laughs> into a, a room thing. and we're all like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. That's and a different thing. So, so, so that's, that has that's, to do with society, which is another 
topic entirely, but I want to quickly respond to what uh, Miriam said concerning the church. Now, I know that the church is a place where everybody's supposed to be equal. Uh, we, are, we all claim that we are equal in the sight of God, which me, I disagree with, because even when Jesus had the disciples, he had the 12 that were close to him. He had the three that were special. He had one, the beloved, that's Jesus. But like I said initially, the manner in which you navigate everyone and make them all inclusive, Jesus taught his disciples that if you want to lead, you have to serve. And he showed that by washing their feet, showing service. So he didn't take away the fact that he had his own VIPs as well. He had people who he could bring very close to him, but the way he treated every other person on the ground is what we should look into. How do we handle other people? Mm -hmm. How do we treat people who we, we don't, we, we, we feel they are less than we are. How do we talk to them? How do you talk to your gates man? How do you talk to your security? It's not just about, mm -hmm. uh, parties and all of right. that you can watch your view on tvc every monday to friday 9 a.m to 10 30 a.m nigerian time on dstv channel 418 go tv channel 27 and channel 47 star times channel 121 and channel 307 play tv channel 801 and channel 190 uhf 49 Sky Channel 515 for UK viewers. Watch live on Facebook at TVC Connect and on our website, tvcentertainment.tv forward slash livestream.